My name is Kristen Elliott. My name is Sharice Woods. My name is Adriana Alvarez. My name is Shani the Hippie. I am 10 years old. I have a business called Paula's Pokers by Devani. I started it when I was eight. I go to Cornerstone Jefferson Douglas Academy. In the winter time, I will suffer from dry chap lips, and my mom would buy different items from the store, but none of them really seemed to work. One day, she gave me um, shea butter, and it made my lips a bit less chapped. But she couldn't send me to school with a whole box of shea butter, so she asked me if I wanted to start a business, and I said yes. To become a master, there's a rating system in chess, like the uh, more people you play and the ratings of the people you play. Uh, like if you play a higher rated person, you get more points if you beat them and you lose less if you lose to them and you gain points if you draw to a higher person. If they're lower than you, it's vice versa. It's, um, and if they're around the same, you get like maybe 10 rating points or something if you beat them. I'm still working my way up to expert right now, but I'm hoping to get there soon because I'm like hovering in the mid to high 1800s right now. Currently, I work as a Dino student at one of the high schools in Southwest Detroit, and I also chair a nonprofit called Congress of Communities. A Dino culture is a person in the building that works mostly with discipline problems, um, making sure that like we're mentoring kids. And right now, the district that I work for, we focus more on like restorative practices. So instead of like suspending kids, it's really, really about mentoring them and helping them understand what part of their behavior was incorrect and how do we correct it moving forward. I am a poet and author and an activist. I use my writing and my voice to be a voice of all movements that include black, brown people and women. I usually say things that people aren't trying to say or people keep hush-hush when it comes to a lot of issues. So I'll talk about everything from like your period to like people harassing you on the elevator. I'll talk about everything in between because it's very important to get those things talked about in the front because when we're talking about them and not making them taboo issues, we can actually address those things and diminish all the bad things we don't want anymore. Coming from a family of four, we're all girls at my house. Uh, so all sisters, girl power to me means everything. It means that anything and everything is possible. As females, we already have a lot of obstacles against us and barriers, but with willpower, we can do anything we want. Women are like rising above like stereotypes and being who they want to be instead of who they're like told to be. But it's um and like stepping out of your comfort zone and just being like the best person you could possibly be as a woman and as a human being really. Girl power to me is the ultimate type of power that I can have, period. Like I'm a woman. If you want to start a business you can do it but make sure you put hard work into it and it doesn't just come and go. You have to start from the beginnings, and you may lose the first two years, but the third year you'll earn. I would uh, tell other girls that it's not gonna be fun when you first start out, because you're gonna hate to lose people. You're gonna have to like humble yourself and just want to learn and accept your losses as learning experiences. People try and hush women all the time. They say that, you know, they don't believe what you have to say. They tell you that you need to be quiet, you need to be ladylike, but those things are imaginary. Imaginary, you are you don't have an attitude, you're serious, you're passionate. And when people try to shush you, it's because they're trying to diminish your power. So always speak, that's your power. More women and girls need to be represented in every single space. You can't help people if you don't have the representation. Um, I would say black and brown people need to stand up women and we need to see them so our kids can see themselves in them. And especially when it comes to women of color, LGBTQ women, immigrants, we can't just have all white women. We have to have tons of different women because those people know their issues. They know what's going on in their community and our communities are made up of so many different people. We cannot address what women are going through if we don't have them represented. You're a baddie, you're amazing and everything you wanna do, you're gonna do. And if you need help doing it, call me.